We are starting as always with our star and we find the last day was mostly quiet in terms of coronal motions and plasma ejections. Despite having a couple M-class solar flares, there wasn't a lot of activity produced in the corona. The GOES X-ray flux shows that here, two spikes on the right, those were the M-class events, both in the lower range of the class and they did not produce coronal mass ejections. We'll watch those here, both off the southern incoming group, that is the largest of the sunspots facing Earth, it's the flashes of light which are the flares, confined flaring events. To see that they did not produce CMEs, let's go to 304 angstroms and you can see here that despite the fury of most of the sunspots, they are contained within their magnetic fields and local areas. No CMEs of note the last day. Peeking quickly at the sunspots, we can see the large one on the south responsible for the flaring. We've still got groups peppering the earth facing half of the sun at the moment, and a new one popping up on the north behind the others, still on the incoming phase of its track through the disk. We'll continue to have eyes on them in case the uptick in solar flaring continues, but we are heading to Indonesia, where a 6.0 blot echo at the low velocity zone was followed just five hours later by a 7 pointer closer to the surface. Luckily, this one is still too small to have created a tsunami.